what's happening is we've got front hip is rotating in this direction, right? And then our trail hip is rotating in this direction. Yeah. Yep. So as we start, let's go back to that. We can see that as he's wheeling the club away, we can see that there's a slight move off the ball where he hasn't done much rotation here. And he's like sinking into that right hip. But now there's rotation that's kicking in. So my question is, is what's the benefit of sinking into that hip without going in this direction? Without going sliding away from the target? And we pressure in your that foot. Great stuff, Josh. Really, really good. So if I rotate back, let's get him up to the top of his back, swing. Right about here. He's rotated back with his hips. He's come off the front hip slightly because we're rotating in this type of direction. And he's fallen into his right hip as he's rotating backwards. And Josh, you're 100% spot on. This will tend to get your pressure over to your trail foot. Why do we want trail foot pressure of some description in the backswing? So you can like load up and then you can like explode off it. Oh, okay. Power. So let's split that, split that into two. So we've got the load up phase, which is that earlier. What did we talk about a minute ago with your golf swing? What did we need you to do, Morgan? Oh, get that mass going gradually up. Yeah, great. So we need that. We need you going up and away from the ball slightly, creating a, an impulse. So then what does that then allow us to do? So instead of pushing off of it, Josh, what do we then do? Once we've loaded right side, our trail side, what do we then do? Like squat down sort of thing and then push off it. Brilliant. So where do we, What what describe that squat to me? You sort of like then shift that pressure into like your other foot while it's turning. Fantastic. Great stuff, mate. Great stuff. So he's loaded a little, let's, let's call it a load into trail side by keeping that hip sort of where it's roughly started. We've come off this one a little bit, but that's partly down to rotation. We don't want to slide off of it, but this helps get our centre of pressure um, slightly into our right side instead of onto our front foot. And the reason that's beneficial is because then we have a shift in pressure. So notice his left leg is now, let's get rid of these annotations. His left leg is now starting to do a lot of pushing and most of our downswing force is going to come from that lead leg, especially vertical force. Vertical force in the lead leg is a big one. And we're going to squat down slightly. So notice, interestingly, that those hips, are, especially that left hip, is slightly below where we first initially marked, Morgan. Yep. So that's our centre of mass going in the downward direction. So there's your squat, right? So it's going down that way. Now, what's now going to happen to his centre of mass? As we, as we go down into the ball and through the ball. Left leg will like straighten. Why does left leg straighten? Pushing right through the ground. Oh, okay, right, Morgan, let's start with you. Number one, creates room. So that's that's creating him a little bit of space. That's creating him all, if we look on the right view, that's creating him all this space. Great. So he's not going to neck, hit it halfway up the hosel. He's Tiger Woods, you don't hit it halfway up the hosel. Um, so it's good for room. What were you going to say, Josh? Um, so it's strange because you're shifting all the weight off the other leg to create power. Oh, okay. Let's talk about this power. What type of force are we going to create off that lead leg? What direction? 
Yeah, Morgan, you've, you've nailed it right on the head. So we're going to create a vertical force, right? So it's going to go upwards. So because he's created a squat with this red line, he's created a downward force, a uh, shift in his pressure. He's now going to get a reaction from the ground, which is going to send him what way? Whoop. Largely up. And that's why his lead leg is going to go through that. A lot of people call it posting. It's going to go through that post or extension phase. And his center of mass is going to go up. So as we then finish and roll it through. There we go. We're now in totally different hip position. So that's a little bit of a dive into not just pelvis and hip position. That's also a dive into how we can use and utilize the ground 